Hello everyone and welcome to the COP Council. How are we all? Hopefully all of you are having a fantastic day wherever you are around the world. And welcome to our match reaction to Liverpool's 5-0 victory over Atalanta in the UEFA Champions League. Yes, you have not misheard me. Liverpool won by five goals to nil in the UEFA Champions League. And what a game it was. You know, fair, fair play um, to the Reds. Absolutely dominant performance against Atalanta. I think all of us and I think many uh, neutrals had this game, you know, either 3-1, 3-2, 4-2, you know, a high scoring game. It was a high scoring game, but only for Liverpool. It wasn't for Atalanta. Uh, Liverpool totally shut them out tonight. And, you know, what a fantastic performance it was from the Reds. But, you know, we will talk a little bit uh, in that um, in, a, in a quick second. But if you could do me the massive favour and please give the video a like. It's massively appreciated if you could do so also as well if you're new to the cop council and watching us for the first time then please hit that subscribe button and don't forget to enable notifications but let's quickly move on then uh, to the team news of course um this was the team hopefully as you can see on your screen right now uh, of course the big news is that diago jota did start the game um and had a pretty good game i think you could tell by the by the title of this video but yeah i had an absolutely fantastic game of course curtis jones as well being in the midfield and reese williams returning uh to the defense alongside joe gomez but overall you know of course that you know that little change from bobby firmino to diago jota you know i know a lot of people want today of course jota is the man in form at the moment for liverpool and man did he do it again in this game what an unbelievable performance uh from the portuguese international grabbing a uefa champions league hat trick i believe he is well he is the first uh liverpool player uh to get a champions league hat trick since sadio mane managed it i believe against Porto when we lost one 5 0 in the UEFA Champions League as well. So absolutely you know over the moon for him. He's now giving Jurgen Klopp a massive headache ahead of Manchester City this uh see uh, this uh Sunday sorry and it is now the question you know who does start alongside Sadio Mane and Mo Salah is it gonna be Bobby Firmino is it going to be Diago Jota and I think it is a real headache but to make it less of a headache, I think potentially the two of them might start. Liverpool might now start with a front four. Um, you know, and I don't think that's a bit ridiculous to say, but you know, I think it is possible. You know, four two three one has been used this season, and I think potentially could be used on Sunday again. But you know, let's keep it on this game. Um, of course, the other two uh, goal scorers being, of course, Sadio Mane and uh, Mo Salah as well, and another record as well for Mohamed Salah. He is well, he is currently on twenty one. Um, Champions League goals for Liverpool and he is currently tying with Stevie G so his next Champions League goal he will break the record for scoring the most Champions League goals or European goals for Liverpool Football Club I think Mane as well um, is now third on the list as well so he is going to be climbing up I think he's only two or three goals away um, from uh, Mo and Stevie G so th that record is going to be very very interesting to see if he can beat that um, and that but you know overall as well you know the general performance I thought was fantastic defensively there were one or once or twice where I think that it could have been a bit better I say that even though we've had the clean sheet you know um I, I, well Atlanta did hit the post a couple of times and did test Allison a few times but the, to be fair apart from them we I thought we were absolutely fantastic uh Reese Williams yet again showing you know age is just a number and experience is just just a thing because at the end of the day he is absolutely fantastic um Curtis Jones as well I thought had a very good game um, of course against Michelin looked a bit off against Ajax looked, looked a bit off tonight looked a bit off for about 10 minutes and then the rest he was absolutely fantastic um, you know in my personal opinion as well I've seen a couple of people on Twitter um, you know saying he still looked a bit edgy and, and looked a bit rusty then you could say but for me I thought he was uh, very good tonight um, in that aspect of things and I think as well if it, 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 just the overall team performance because uh, let's not take this you know this game was 
well, it was a little bit, you know, a, a good preview for the Manchester City game, of course. And knowing where this Liverpool side actually are in terms of defensively and going forward as well. And overall, I think we were fantastic tonight. Of course, that moves us now, um, you know, miles clear now of, of Group D um, in the Champions League. Nine points out of nine. It's the first time Jurgen Klopp's ever done that, I believe. Um, I believe in his managerial history. I could be wrong with that, but certainly um, under Liverpool anyway. And and I think that overall, it's it's fantastic that you know we can probably now rest the big guns in the Champions League. I know that we've got Atlanta again um, at Anfield, I believe, in two or three weeks' time. Uh, of course, after the international break, and if we win that, then twelve points out of twelve, then you can maybe rest players then against Mitchelland and Ajax as well. So it's going to be interesting, and, and I think he, Klopp is definitely going to do that. But for this game. For me, my man of the match goes to Diago Jota. He was absolutely sensational today. And like I said at the beginning, he, for me, he is undroppable. I've said this now for a couple of weeks. He is undroppable. And I think Jurgen Klopp has to start Diago Jota against Manchester City uh, this Sunday. Um, you know, because at the end of the day, he is a man in form right now. And he is showing, you know, we robbed Wolves. You know, I put out a tweet, um, hopefully, you know, if I can get it on Twitter, on screen right now. Um, you know, we robbed Roma and Mo Salah, we robbed Southampton and Sadio Mane, and we robbed Wolves um, of Diago Jota, because what an unbelievable signing he is. And I think, you know, for sure, he is um, unplayable at the minute, and I think he has to be uh, starting against City for sure. Guys, let me know your thoughts anyway in the comment section uh, down below. Quick shout out as well for other uh, good players. Thought Jordan Henderson was fantastic again tonight. Um, you know, like we said, Reese Williams, Joe Gomez, Ali Sun as well. Like I said, you know, saving us a couple of times. Um, you know, I know a couple of people have been, you know, a bit iffy on Allison's form of, of recent, uh, you know, games, but absolutely fantastic in certain situations tonight. So, you know, very, very positive performance all round then uh, for Liverpool. And yeah, for me, it's the Argo Jota man of the match. If you guys, you know, let me know in the comment section down below on who you think uh, should be given man of the match anyway but um i think i'm gonna leave it there guys uh for tonight anyway i did a pre i did pre-recorded tonight uh because i kind of want to want to kind of bring back the the um pre-recorded stuff and you know maybe keep the live stuff maybe a bit shorter than that over the next couple of weeks and that's but you know we'll we'll tweak it and that uh, and things like this but if you did enjoy uh the video then please as always please give a like uh massively appreciate it and also as well if you're new to the cop council and watching us for the first time then please hit that subscribe button because we are nine subs away uh from 400 you know get us to 400 i think the hashtag was started yesterday uh by liz so thank you liz if you are watching right now uh it is very much appreciated and yeah guys please do uh subscribe because you know the the, the more subs in you, you know, the more people, you know, we can communicate more and get, you know, more reds in you uh, and that and build up this, you know, great community because I, I, I like you guys. I, I do like you guys. But um yeah, guys, that is going to be it from me. I've been Connor from the Cock Council and it looks like Liverpool are safely through to the Champions League knockout stage. Not just yet, but it looks like it anyway. But um, until next time, guys, I'll see you then. Tra Reds.